Welcome back to The Outsider's Perspective. My name's Ollie, and here's your loaf of daily bread. Just as there is no use in medical study unless it leads to the health of the human body, so there is no use to a philosophical doctrine unless it leads to the virtue of the human soul. Musonius Rufus. So Musonius Rufus is another Roman Stoic, but unlike Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, his works either survived in fragments or didn't survive at all. So I recently picked up a copy of a compilation of his surviving works, and I have found awesome little nuggets in this. The quote that I just shared with you comes from this collection, and I think it's brilliant in the way that it lays out the purpose and scope of philosophy while using imagery that should evoke pretty strong emotional reactions in us. Now, if you received a philosophical education in a modern college or university, this analogy of medicine to philosophy might seem rather far-fetched. Philosophy in universities and colleges these days is the study of philosophy. Philosophy is not something that you study. It's something that you practice. So you may study it initially, but unless you practice it, it will bring you nothing of value. Now, if you're wondering, how am I supposed to practice philosophy? For instance, how am I supposed to practice Hegel or Nietzsche or any of these other philosophers that you probably learned all about in college? Descartes, Kant. I don't know a whole lot about these philosophers, so I can't really speak on them. All I can say is that my brief exposure to philosophy left a bitter taste in my mouth, and it wasn't until I stumbled onto Marcus Aurelius about a decade later that I actually began to appreciate what philosophy is and what it can do for me as an individual. I had no clue that this was the purpose of philosophy, but Musonius Rufus lays it out very nicely. What's the point of studying medicine if you're not going to use it? In other words, why would you go to medical school or learn how to be a nurse or a chiropractor or any kind of medical treatment practitioner if you weren't going to practice your craft? What Musonius Rufus tells us here is that philosophy is no different. Instead of remedying the illnesses of the body, the colds and the aches and all those types of things, philosophy aims to remedy the sickness of the soul the illness of the mind, delusion and misconception, faulty thinking, irrational beliefs, and so on. When you eliminate these things, your soul returns to its default state, which is enlightened, virtuous, balanced, flexible. These are the natural states of the human mind and soul. But through indoctrination into the cult of culture and through other misconceptions formed either through nurture or through nature, somehow we lose that state of grace. Anyways, I thought that was a nice little image from Musonius Rufus. I will drop more from him, obviously, now that I've discovered him and gotten into his work, so stay tuned for more. Live well, my friends.